it's Alex. Today we're going to make volcanoes and then we're going to watch them erupt. But the first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to find a water bottle or some type of container. Put it in the middle of your pan. Make sure you have a pan because it's going to go everywhere. And then for the volcano part, you're just going to make some clay, which is six cups of flour, two cups of salt, two cups of water, and then two tablespoons of cooking oil. So I already made it. And what you're going to do is you're just going to form it around your bottle like a volcano. All right, so I had to go make more because I didn't, I have to the recipe, but it turns out you need more than I thought. So as you can see, your hands get very messy when you do this. So if you don't like mess, wear gloves or something. So there's my volcano. If you guys want to add food coloring to it, you can. Red food coloring for lava. Anything you guys want, okay? All right. So now that you have this set up, you're gonna let that sit for a little bit, and then you're gonna go make your solutions that you're gonna put in the bottle to make it explode. All right. So you guys are gonna do about two cups of water, and then you're gonna want a tablespoon of dish soap. And it says that you can add red food color into it, which I don't have, so I just added blue. And you're gonna pour that about two thirds of the way into your bottle or container. Just kind of look down in there. All right. Eh, that's a little, little more. Okay. Then you are going to want to add two tablespoons of baking soda into that. Alright, so now we're going to pour the vinegar in the bottle and I'm going to pour some in this cup so it's easier to pour and we will see what happens. And there you go guys, there's your very own volcano at home. Thank you for joining in today and I hope to see these on Facebook anywhere and I hope you guys are staying safe. Bye!